everything is made from atoms. Cheese, handbags, the Eiffel Tower, you name it. And atoms are very, very, very small. But it doesn't stop there. The atom is made up of even smaller particles called subatomic particles. Welcome to the weird world of atomic structure. The centre of an atom contains protons and neutrons, while electrons are arranged around the nucleus in energy levels or shells. The energy levels are usually drawn as circles around the nucleus. Both protons and electrons have an electrical charge of the same size. Protons are positively charged and electrons negative, while neutrons are, you guessed it, neutral. Like Switzerland, but smaller. The number of electrons is always matched by the number of protons in an atom. I'll see your four electrons and I'll raise you, um, no I won't, I'll just match your four protons. This means atoms have no overall charge. The number of protons in an atom is its atomic number. This is a beryllium atom. What's its atomic number? Atoms are arranged in the periodic table in order of increasing atomic number. At number one, hydrogen. At two, helium. At three, lithium. At twenty, calcium. At fifty-seven, something else. Electrons can only exist at clearly defined energy levels. Thankfully, you only need to know about the first four levels for GCSE. Yet, yeah, not quite there yet, we need to talk about energy levels. An atom's energy levels, also known as electron shells, are filled starting with the innermost one closest to the nucleus. A level needs to be totally filled before moving on to a higher level further out. The first shell with the lowest energy level can contain a maximum of two electrons. Levels 2 and 3 a maximum of 8 electrons each, and level 4 a maximum of 18 electrons. The electronic structure of an atom can be shown as a diagram or using numbers. You need to know both for all these little beauties. So let's use what we know to build a model of the atom lithium. This has the atomic number 3, so it must have 3 electrons. That means 2 at a lowest energy level, the innermost shell, and 1 in the second level. You'll also need to be able to write down the electronic structure of an atom. Let's take lithium again. This is written as the chemical symbol Li, followed by the number of electrons in each energy level, in this case, 2, 1. The periodic table is arranged so that every time we fill an energy level, we start a new row or period. You can see that the number of occupied energy levels is the same as the period number. And as you go across each period from left to right, an energy level gradually becomes filled with electrons. One electron on the left to maximum on the right. What a system! The number of electrons in the highest energy level matches the group number, with the exception of group zero, which has eight electrons. Oh, and apart from helium, which has only two. And they call this a system? Ah, I see it means that the highest energy level is full. Okay. So exceptions to the rules aside, let's use what we know to create a diagram for sulphur. Looking at the periodic table, it has atomic number 16. Ah, here it is in the third row of the table. So it has three occupied energy levels. It's in group 6, so it has six electrons in the highest occupied energy level. Last job is to check that the number of electrons matches the atomic number. Well, it's not really a job, is it? More like a walk in the park. So now you know about atomic structure. It's easy when you know how.